Just your first impression. What do you see? What are you experiencing? I'm like in the middle of nowhere. Mm, in the middle of nowhere? <coughs> mm -hmm. I'm like a point of... <clears throat> Tell me what this place looks like. This it's little 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 somewhere in the air. Mm -hmm. Look around you and tell me if there's any colors associated with this place. What do you imagine to be there? Like dark blue. Dark blue. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. It's just the air and I'm in a, like a point. It's just the air and you're just in a point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see any light. Mm-hmm. Like in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere. Let's find out if you can move around in this place. Do you feel like you have any motion? I can move, but... It's nothing around. Nothing around. Mm -hmm. It's not dark. It's not light. It's just dark blue? It's just like that. Mm -hmm. Does this dark blue have any motion to it? Kind of like an air moving. Mm -hmm. Very good. In what direction is it moving? From right to left. From right to left. Very good. Let's see if there's anything that's floating on this dark blue. Is there anything else there? Perhaps a light or anything like that? No. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's find out some more. I want you to Imagine in front of you a mirror. It's a spiritual mirror. And see if you can imagine what you would look like in this place. What would you imagine yourself to be like? Do you have any form? I would say kind of woman. Like a woman? Mm-hmm. Describe this woman. What does she look like? I have a long skirt. A and long a blouse. Long skirt and a blouse. Blouse has buttons. Mm -hmm. The blouse has buttons. What else? I feel like I'm lying down. Mm hmm. Lying down? But I don't feel the thing I'm lying on. Mm hmm Do you feel like you have any shoes on? Yeah, those shoes are like with the lace up. Mm hmm Dark. Dark. My dress is dark. Mm -hmm. What color do you imagine that dress to be? It's just dark browny. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine your features to look like on your face? I have my hair up in the bun. Hair is up in the bun? Mm -hmm. What color is your hair? It's like a dark blonde. Dark blonde? Mm hmm What else do you see? Just lying there. Mm hmm Let's see if that feels like you're lying on anything hard or soft. I 
It feels like soft. Soft. Mm -hmm. I don't know what is that and where I am. Mm -hmm. It's like nothing around. Nothing around. I don't like If you were to imagine how long you've been in this place, what's the first thing that comes into your mind? Have you been here a long time? Yeah. Mm hmm What's the first thing that you think of when you think of this place? What it is what is this place for? It could be a barn. A barn. And I'm lying on a house. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. Allow the pictures to come. Look around you. I have a feeling they are like machines. Mm -hmm. What the farmers are using. These are machines that farmers are using? Mm hmm Mm-hmm. What are you doing there? I'm just lying there. Mm -hmm. Allow the pictures to turn into action and see what happens. I got up. I got up. I went down through the steps. Mm-hmm. And I'm on the ground. Okay, so now that you're on the ground, take a look around you and see where you are. It's a barn. A barn. Where they store the hay. Mm -hmm. Where they store the hay? Yeah. Is there a lot of hay in there? Yeah, looks like it's full. Mm -hmm. Were you lying on the hay? Yeah, I was lying there. Mm -hmm. So where do you go to now? I think I'll, I'll go home. Mm -hmm. So let's go home and tell me what your home looks like. Stand in front of it and tell me what it looks like. It is wooden. A wooden. Mm -hmm. Like a mountain house. A mountain house. It's beautiful. Describe it for me. It's made of the big wooden logs. Mm-hmm, big logs. A few steps up. A few steps up. And a heavy wooden doors. Mm-hmm. How many doors? Uh, Is it one or two? The main doors. Mm-hmm. The main door. And the walls are light color, mm -hmm. like a natural color. And the light color of the wood? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's inside of this home? The floor is wooden and it's light color. There is a table also wooden. And chairs, everything is like handmade. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think it's just the one huge room, even the house is big. Mm -hmm. I see bed, wooden bed with the feather pillows mm -hmm. and the covers, com like a huge comforter. Are you alone in this house, or do others live with you? I think I'm alone, but I don't know if there's anybody living there mm -hmm. with me. All right, let's find out. Close that scene and open it up again when you are having a meal in this house. You're having a meal. You tell me where you are. There is a man. Mm -hmm. I can see his face. I don't know how old is he. Mm -hmm. And I see 
children. Children? How many? One, two, three. Three. Three children? How old are these children? They might be like seven, eight, nine mm -hmm. years old. Can you see their faces? Not clearly. Mm -hmm. That's one boy and two girls. A boy and two girls. Do they feel familiar to you? I guess they are my children and my husband. Mm -hmm. What is it that you're eating? Potato. And buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Is that your meal? Yeah. Is that coming from your your place? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. We probably have a farm mm -hmm. with animals and stuff. No, you'll know. Just allow yourself to know that wisdom, know that information. What is it that your husband and you do there? He's a farmer, mm -hmm. and I'm taking care of the house and children. And I have a little veg garden. What do you grow there? Um, parsley, carrot, mm -hmm. beets, everything what you need. Mm -hmm. And what is your husband farm? I think potatoes, mm -hmm. potatoes, lots of potatoes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's find out a little bit about yourself. Allow the information to come. What's the name that comes into your mind? What's the name that they call you there? Eva was the first one. Mm -hmm. Very good. How old are you there? I might be around 30s. Mm -hmm. The 30s? Mm -hmm. And what year comes to mind? 1870. 1870? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What country are you in? I think it's in Austria. Austria. Very good. High in a mountain. Mm -hmm. What do you call your husband? John came to me. But John? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. So Eva, I want you to close that scene and let's move to another day in that lifetime when something very important and significant is happening to you. Move ahead and tell me where you are. I'm in the church with people. I'm in the church with people. Tell me more. Just sitting there and singing. Mm -hmm. What are you singing? I don't know, something. In the church. What's what's happening in this place? What's important about this scene? I think there is a wedding of someone. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see. Whose wedding is it? My daughter. Mm -hmm. How do you feel there? I feel okay. There is plenty of people. Everybody's watching. <coughs> what if? What emotions are you feeling in this place? I'm happy there. Mm -hmm. Good. <coughs> so let's see what happens next. What's the next significant event that happens?
Where are you? I'm outside on a meadow. Mm-hmm. Outside in the meadow. Just walking. What are you looking for? Just enjoying the view. Mm-hmm. Are you by yourself or with yeah. others? How old do you feel there? Fifty. Mm-hmm. Where is your husband? I don't see him with me. Mm-hmm. But I seem to be like happy, like relaxed. Mm-hmm. Where do you imagine your husband to be? He's probably working. Okay. With what? horses and doing stuff outside in a farm. What is it that you're doing out in this meadow? What happens here? Just watching the beautiful. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite scene? thing? I see flowers on the meadow. Mm -hmm. And birds. Very good. And the sun and the sky. Anything unusual about this place? Oh, it's everything is very calm. Very calm. Very good. So now let's close that scene and let's move to another scene in that same lifetime. Something important is happening. Allow yourself to go to that scene. I'm at home. Mm -hmm. But my husband is not there anymore. Where's your husband? Maybe he died. I don't know. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Seventy. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel okay. Mm -hmm. There is nothing really happening like in this life. Like very quiet. Very quiet. Very good. So let's go now to the last day of your life in that lifetime. See, so you're drifting to that last day and tell me where you are. In the bed. Mm -hmm. What's happening with your body? I don't feel sick. You don't feel sick? No. What do you feel? I'm just like lying down, covered with this comforter. Mm -hmm. Sheets are very white. And clean. Mm -hmm. How old do you feel? Maybe 90. Mm -hmm. Do you feel healthy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't feel any pain or nothing. So take the last breath of your life. See yourself taking that last breath. And tell me what happens. I'm a point of light. I'm a point of light. Very good. So look at back at that life. Every life has a purpose. Every life has a lesson. What was the purpose and mission of that last life? I think it was supposed to be just a quiet, simple life. Mm -hmm. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything from it? Just I was enjoying the outside. Mm -hmm. Enjoying nature? Yeah, nature. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I'd like for you to follow that point of light and tell me where that light goes to next. Where do you go when you're a point of light? I'm just somewhere in the air, drifting up. Mm -hmm. Tunnel? Mm -hmm. You see a tunnel? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel. What is this tunnel like? I'm just going up. Mm -hmm. 
I'm somewhere in a place very, very up, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Very up? Mm -hmm. What color is this place? Sunny. Sunny. Let's see if anybody's there waiting to meet you. Don't see anybody. How do you feel in this place? It's a warm place. A warm place. Mm -hmm. Look around. See if you see anything else. People with white mm -hmm. go gowns. People with white gowns. Are these men or women? Both. Mm -hmm. Where are they? They're just walking around. Mm -hmm. But are they're we... all white. They're all white? Mm hmm. White, white dress. White dress. What do their features look like? Like human, mm -hmm. but very light, bland. Tell me more about this place. Does this have any structures? Pyramids. Pyramids. Mm -hmm. What color are these pyramids? Golden. Golden. What else do you see in this place? People are walking in different directions. Mm -hmm. I think I'm also wearing the white dress, white gown. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what you are there. Are you male or female? Woman. A woman. Mm -hmm. I have blonde hair and a very long. They hit my butt, or even longer. Long blonde hair yeah. that hits your butt. Yeah, very thick, beautiful, curly. Mm -hmm. Blue eyes. Is there anything in your hair? No. Mm -hmm. What does this gown look like? It's like a one piece. Mm -hmm. It's floating. And the sleeves are like a bell. Mm -hmm. And it has golden attachment like. Uh, on the edge. Mm -hmm. on like the a decoration. Sleeves, yeah. And, and down the. When the feet are, and I have sandals. Mm -hmm. You said you were walking down this road. What is the road made out of? I think it's like a stones. Mm -hmm. Stone road? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is this place? It is like a Square. Mm -hmm. I think that people are buying like a fruits and veggies, mm -hmm. like a market. Yes. I have a basket. What's in your basket? I just bought some stuff, fruits, veggies for dinner, I guess. Mm -hmm. Who else is around this place? Plenty of people. Mm -hmm. They're all dressed like this. Like yeah, almost the same, like very like each other. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens next. I'm walking somewhere. I'm going to a white building. Mm -hmm. But this building doesn't have a real roof like we have. It's flat. It's a flat roof. Walls are white. Everything is white. The windows are very small. Mm -hmm. Lots of sunshine. There's lots of sunshine, but the yeah. windows are small? Yeah, outside. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very sunny, very warm. It's, it's, I think because it's too hot outside, the windows are small. Mm -hmm. And the walls are very thick. What are they so made of? 
I guess stone. So when you get inside, it's really cool. Mm. And you say it's white. Yeah, outside. Are they pine painted white? Or I they think they painted. All those buildings are white. Okay. And they are not tall. They are like one floor up. Mm -hmm. So tell me what building it is that you're going to. It looks like a house. I live there. Mm -hmm. Any other colors stand out in this place except white? No. Okay, so the clothing is white? Yeah, the building is very white. Okay. But when I got inside, there are blue tiles on the floor. Mm. What kind of... Is it just a plain blue or does it have a decoration? No, that has a pattern. It has a pattern. Like tiles. Mm. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Like dials? tiles? Tiles. Tiles, okay. What else do you see in this house? I'm going to the kitchen. There is a stove. Mm -hmm. What kind of stove is it? You can put pots on top of it and you fire underneath. That's how you make it. Mm -hmm. Like cook. Mm -hmm. What kind of, what do you use for the fire? Wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. So let's see what you do in this kitchen. I think I'm gonna cook something, but I don't have the feelings that there is someone with me. I, I don't know if I'm alone or just alone right now. Mm -hmm. Allow yourself to look around the scene. And if there's somebody there, let it appear. I don't see anybody. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's see what happens next. Allow yourself now to see yourself eating a meal there. There is a man and a one child. It's a boy. Mm -hmm. I see a cat, white cat. Mm -hmm. Who are these? I think it's my family. Mm -hmm. Take a look into the man's eyes and see if you find him familiar in the life of Eva. I have the feeling, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Look into your, the eyes. The eyes are always the windows to the soul. And the boy like Matthew. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what happens next in your life. I want you now to close that scene and go to another important scene in that lifetime. Something important is happening. Be there now. That square. Mm -hmm. There is a bad thing going on there. What's happening at the square? It's like they are going to kill someone and we're watching. Let's find out what's happening there. Are you supposed to be there? I think we all were called to come and look. Mm -hmm. Why? What's happening? My heart is pounding. Mm -hmm. Maybe I know this person who's going to be... They're going to cut the head off. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who it is. I 
I feel sorry for this person. Maybe I know this person, but I cannot recognize it. It's a man. Mm -hmm. I don't know what he did. Why are they doing it? Take so a fun. look into his eyes. Look into his eyes and see who he is. It's Roman. Mm -hmm. I feel bad. Let's find out. I feel sorry for him. What did he do? Maybe he stole something? You'll know what it is. Go deep inside for the answer. Oh, I think he borrowed the money and he never gave back that money. So what happens now? They kill him. They want to show that if anybody do something wrong, it's going to end up there. Mm -hmm. Do they do this often? Maybe. We're all going away. I hate that. I don't like it. I don't like looking at it. It's just awful. I'm going home. All right. Close that scene now. Close that scene and let's travel in time to another significant event in that lifetime. Be there now. Where are you? In front of my house. Mm -hmm. But I'm older. How old do you feel there? Forty, forty something. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I'm just sitting in front of the house and watching like people are walking around. And watching people go by? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. I think I don't feel well. Mm -hmm. I went into the house. I think I'm going to go. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. What do you do next? Where do you go? I'm going up. Mm -hmm. Just going up and up and up. Mm -hmm. Every life has a purpose, and every life has a lesson. What was the purpose of that lifetime? That was a quiet life. Mm -hmm. I didn't see any laugh. Uh, everything is sad. Even if it was quiet, mm -hmm. But there was no laughter, there was no like a, like a joy, everything was so quiet. Mm -hmm. So what lesson did you learn from that? Simple life, in a different place. I don't like this violence, I don't like that what they did to the guy. Mm -hmm. Where do you go to now? I'm just somewhere in the air. Okay. I, I think you... I see uh, Earth from a distance. What do you see? Earth. Earth. Very good. 
Let's find out what you're seeing. I'm just floating there and looking on the other planets. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying like being free. Mm -hmm. Like I have no weight. No weight at all. No. Mm -hmm. No body. No, I'm just a, like a like a little tiny light. Mm -hmm. What color is this light, by the way? It's it's gold. Gold light. Mm -hmm. I'm just enjoying like being free, weightless, and mm -hmm. just floating. So what? What is the purpose of you hovering above Earth? What do you find interesting about it? Watching. Watching, watching the Earth, watching mm -hmm. the universe. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. But I'm far above the galaxies. Because I see Milky Way mm -hmm. and others, yeah. and I'm much higher. You're much higher. Yeah. As you're watching this, are you out in space or is yeah, there space? Mm -hmm. What else do you see? It's like um, dark, dark, dark blue. Dark blue. And those galaxies are like hanging there. Mm -hmm. Is this the place where you began? In the bark black, dark blue? No, it's an air. The color of the surrounding air, it's like a dark blue. A dark blue, very good. So let's see where you go to next. I'm still going up. Mm -hmm. As you see things, let me know. What's around you? I have a feeling that I'm somewhere in a crystal planet. Mm -hmm. In a crystal planet? Look around you. Let's see if you can like, find uh, it. I see crystal buildings. They look like uh, Spears. Like spears. Mm -hmm. Are they made With of... With a thin, thin top. Thin top. What are they made out of? It's like... Um, it's like... Um, crystal you could see through. Do they have any particular color? Yeah, like transparent, mm -hmm. more like transparent, but but the big blocks of crystal. Mm -hmm. Are these buildings or are they just structures on this planet? I see like uh, stones, lots of stones, mm -hmm. but they all like transparent. Mm -hmm. Do you see anything inside of them? I can see through that. Mm -hmm. Anybody inside? No, right now. But they give the reflection of light, beautiful reflection. Beautiful. So colorful. What do you look like in this place? I feel like I am one of them. You're one of the crystals? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm a piece of crystal. Piece of crystal. So tell me, as a piece of crystal, what it is that your role is there? What do you do? I don't know. I feel that this 
Um, it's a cold feeling, but it's not unpleasant. It's cold, but un not ple not unpleasant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I enjoy seeing other crystals that they have colors, and those those colors are so beautiful. And I know that I'm also projecting the, the, those colors too, what? which I really like. What colors are you projecting? Oh, every color, every every um, light color. Mm -hmm. It's violet, pink, yellow, light green, light blue, all the pastels, mm -hmm. all the possible pastel colors. We all Emma and oh gosh. Like the colors goes out of us mm -hmm. and projects all over everywhere. Do you have to do anything to project this, or does it do no, it naturally? No, it just happens. Just happens. And, it's, and I so enjoy of it. Mm -hmm. And I know that I'm so pretty, and they are so pretty. How big are you? I'm not big. Not it's that like, big. No, I'm like. A, like a feet square, but it's not a square, it's a different figure, I don't know. Are you also like a, a spear of crystal? I am... I'm a kind of... I have like... I'm not a spear, I'm more like a square, but not really square, like more mm -hmm. than square. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to name that figure. It's a geometric figure. Mm -hmm. So what do you enjoy? Oh, I just do nothing. Just, just, just be there. Okay. It's so joy, joyful. But I want to jump, but I'm a little too heavy. Mm -hmm. I can't jump. You feel joyous enough to jump. Yeah, I would like jump because I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Can you communicate with the other crystals there? Yeah, we can. We can send thoughts. Mm -hmm. What are these thoughts about? Oh, just laughing. Mm -hmm. I think I'm really happy on this planet. Because we're laughing all the time. Mm -hmm. Do you make jokes with each other? Yeah. What kind of jokes do you make? I'm trying to roll. Mm -hmm. And they're laughing because I'm like chubby stone. <laughs> do any of the crystals move on their own? Some of them. Some of them are standing still. Mm -hmm. But you're a chubby crystal, so you can't move, and they laugh at you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I try to move. I'm like rocking back and forth, and I want to just turn around. Mm -hmm. And they're laughing because it, it's just, I, I try, but I really can't. Mm -hmm. What else does a crystal do all day long? We just there, we just like projecting. We're projecting the colors mm -hmm. everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like to all the universe, which is that 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 that's so strong mm -hmm. that goes everywhere, everywhere to universe, in every planet, in every place, everywhere. Do these colors have some sort of a power? That's energy. Mm -hmm. What's special about your energy that you're projecting from this planet? I think we all the same. We all projecting the same, mm -hmm. but we are just projecting everywhere, in all direction, mm -hmm. everywhere. It's like endless, endless. And we have so much fun with that. That we are being there, projecting. Mm -hmm. Do you have any time of type of life cycle there that you? leave huh. do you I think when I'm just one day when I decided that's 
time to move, I just move on somewhere else. Mm -hmm, yeah. And all of us can do the same, but we are a long time over there, very long time. What happens to the, the crystal when your consciousness leaves it? I think someone else is coming. Mm -hmm. I want to have experience like that. Mm -hmm. So, as you empty your consciousness of that crystal, another consciousness yeah, and that, takes yes, yes, just and that, to have the experience? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know if there's an empty crystal or not? Do you recognize it to I be empty? I don't see any empty right now in the area where I can look around. Mm -hmm. So I'm still there, but we can go whenever we want it. Good. So let's I, I enjoy being there really. <laughs> I think the most I enjoyed. I didn't enjoy that much that two lives I saw. Mm -hmm. Like I'm ju I, I'm just feeling like oh my god, I feel like it's my place. Mm -hmm. So let's find what happens that makes you decide to leave that place. Go to the mm -hmm. end of that cycle of that consciousness on that planet. And let's see. Someone is calling. Mm -hmm. Let's find out who's calling you. It's, it's like... Like we are needed somewhere. Because mm -hmm. it's so dark over there. It's so ugly and so... It's one hand, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But it's so ugly. And, and I just want to like cry because it's so ugly. What is this place? The surrounding, it's... it's, it's uh, I know it's earth. It's earth. Yeah, and it's surrounded with so much black. What's it's this It's like black? a black cloud uh, surrounding the whole area, around the whole earth. And we were, are called, we're projecting this crystal on this, this blackness. What does it do? And we are projecting, it, it's like changing a little bit the color, like... But it's still so bad. Mm -hmm. So much. What is this blackness? It's something bad. How do you, projecting your light and energy, help? When I'm projecting this path which hits the ray, mm -hmm. which hits the blackness, mm -hmm. it's like you put, um, like you have a water and you just put a little color to the to, to that water and it changes the color and goes like in all directions. Yeah. So this blackness like is changing for a gold. It's changing for gold. Is that your color? Yeah, I guess. Mm -hmm. I want to know who is that called you for assistance? I don't know. We heard. We, we heard. We are who are being on that planet with these beautiful colors. We heard that calling that we need to project the rays on that planet because it's so bad going on there. So we are like surrounding it and projecting our beautiful colors on it. Mm -hmm. And and somewhere we can like uh, remove it, this blackness. So it's like empty space mm. for a while and then the blackness comes back. Ah. What makes this blackness grow? I think that's the that's the emotion from the earth, mm -hmm. the fear emotion, the the bad, like uh, bad thinking, mm -hmm. and the, the the bad things which is going on around the earth. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh! Tell me what you're doing. Uh, we are surrounding it from a distance. Mm -hmm. We're like surrounding all all around and projecting. Are you able to travel as a crystal? To yeah, Earth? I guess. Yeah, we somehow are we're there and we are surrounding all over mm -hmm. the Earth from a from a distance, big mm -hmm. distance, but mm -hmm. close enough so we can project the rays of color on this 
on this on this cloudiness. Mm -hmm. Is this planet that you're on? Are you able to move it? Yeah, it looks like we just left that, and we are like a ball of crystals, like a like sphere ball. Mm -hmm. ball. Mm -hmm. Kind of, we just we just like jump at the same time, ju jumped mm -hmm. out of the planet and just end up being that place because we just knew that's the place. I don't know how we knew it. Mm -hmm. We just we just surrounding that surrounding and we watching and and just projecting and projecting, and we get so happy when we can uh, see the lightness. And and then there is for a while it's 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 really light and gold. And after a while it's it's like the black pushes like wanted to expand. And we are working really hard. Is anybody else working with you? Oh, there are there are plenty. There, oh my gosh, there are like plenty of us, plenty, million of us. Where are these crystals? Are they on a sphere? Are they somewhere on a different planet, closer? We just came from that 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 colorful planet, right. all of us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if someone is left, but maybe yes, but... Mm -hmm. But where are you now? We're still there. We're still surrounding the Earth. Okay. Because we see it's still it's coming wherever we just clean. Mm -hmm. After a while, it's just coming like a smoke from from the Earth to the, to the, to the higher surface. Mm -hmm. To the atmosphere? Yeah, to the atmosphere. How high up is this black thing? It goes f like high, far, far, far from the earth, but mm -hmm. it's surrounding. It's like a huge black cloud. Mm -hmm. And there are places where are lighter and there are places are still black and the smoke is coming up, like constant coming up. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a pollution of dark. It's darkness. like a pollution, but this is not like a real pollution. It's like a energy, energy pollution, like mm -hmm. whatever the, the people are creating the all the bad creation yes. with their mind. All of them, they just just constant coming and coming and producing. They 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 producing all the time. Mm -hmm. This is being produced by the people? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we just wonder when this thing will end. Because we clear one part and that's a like, 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 oh gosh, like coming. It's like the endless ocean then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what happens next. Allow yourself to go further ahead and see what happens. I know that eventually we will clear this earth. There will be no blackness. Mm -hmm. I even see there is like three quarters is golden. It's just spots. Wonderful. With blackness, but it, the blackness has no power anymore. Mm -hmm. Why is we that? We won. Just we won. Wonderful. It takes time. It will take time, but mm -hmm. finally it's going to be beautiful there, too. Wonderful. What year do you project this to be, where all of this is eliminated? It comes 2045. 2045? Mm-hmm. 2245. 2,245? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to be golden planet. One. Maybe earlier, but... That's but it's, it's happening. It's happening. It's, it's, there are areas, golden areas, and... The gold will win. Very good. 
Very good. Is there anything else from this lifetime that's significant? Such a joy. Mm -hmm. Such a joy being so colorful and be able to help. Very good. Because we're projecting all the time, but there's no, I don't see any other places that was mm -hmm. in such a need of help. Mm -hmm. Good. Now let me ask you something. How is it that you are related to this woman, Eva? Are you an aspect of her? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you or I herself? I'm part of her. You're part of her. Is she living on this planet at the same time? Yeah, I think she's still the biggest part of her is on that planet because she belongs there. Mm -hmm. I think she decided to just go on Earth to see the things, how it's going on, what's wrong. But it, the, the, the time she came, it wasn't that dark. Mm -hmm. It was clear a little bit. So why has Eva chosen to be in this life right now? What's the purpose of living this one? She has to spread light. She had to spread light? Yeah. Like the crystal? Yeah, she has to emanate with the light. And, and whenever she goes, mm -hmm. her light is like infected others. And whatever she touch, it changes the color. Mm -hmm. Her color is gold. Her color is gold. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this crystal place her origin? Or yeah, is it the place? That's the place. Does it have a name? Rainbow. Rainbow? That's what you call it? Yeah, we call it rainbow. <laughs> rainbow. When she came to this earth, did she bring guides with her? Yeah. Who are her guides? Raphael. Raphael. Michael. Mm -hmm. Gabriel. Uriel. That's it. Mm -hmm. How do they help her? They are all the time with her. Mm -hmm. They're giving her strength. They're protecting her. They help her. When she does her sessions, they all with her. Mm -hmm. So when she does this, the phantom surgeries? Yeah. They're the ones who are helping her? Yeah, sometimes they just step in mm -hmm. her and doing the job. So she's actually channeling them. Yeah. Is there anyone in particular that does this better than others? Gabriel. Gabriel. And Michael is always there, cleaning, clearing the air. Clearing the air. Mm -hmm. She was wondering if QHHT would be a good idea for her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should she get started on that right away, or should she wait? Oh, as whenever she's ready. Mm hmm. Who's going to help her with QHHT? We all going to help her. Okay, good. Can you tell Eva about these dreams that she's had when she was a child? She was given a sphere of wisdom and then she couldn't find it. The sphere is still with her. Whenever she moves, the sphere comes after. Mm hmm. What is the sphere? This is like. Um, Something what is loading her, giving her power, mm -hmm. giving her strength, mm -hmm. helping her go through hard times because she chose a hard life. Why did she choose such a hard life? She just want to experience the hard life. Mm -hmm. Because she's had easy ones before? Maybe, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's all the stuff that was written on her forearm? that looked like ancient letters and hier hieroglyphics. What was that? That's information for her. She's going to read it one day. She will give, she will have the information. But that's an energy, those hieroglyphs, mm -hmm. they have energy which is projecting into her. Mm -hmm. 
to make her strong. Good. Is there anybody else that is getting these hieroglyphics on their arms? I don't know. Magda. Mm -hmm. Are they getting, is she getting it for a specific reason? I think the same would I have, but it's not time to, to talk about it yet. Okay, good. Why is it that as a young child, she felt like she was being watched? She was watched. Who was watching her? We all were watching her because we just, she, she's like a jewel for us. Mm -hmm. Are you her higher self? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're watching her? Yeah. Good. Did you ever appear to her as a person? No. Okay, good. She says that recently after a meditation that she had, she had a dream of a UFO with Japanese beings. Was it really happening yeah. or just a dream? What is that all about? Oh, we came to her. They came to her, we came to her. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we hugged her because there was a long time we couldn't see her. And she was surprised because we looked Japanese. Hmm. What? Who are you? What, what are these beings? The, they were from the different um, uh, galaxy where the people look like a Japanese. Okay. Is that and where the Japanese get their appearance from? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a part of the of the of uh, of those people who mm -hmm. who just came to Earth and and that's why the features are like that. They left their DNA. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and she was one of us one day, and and we just came to, and it was like, oh gosh, finally we can hug her. <laughs> Now, what state was she in when this was happening? Jersey. Mm -hmm. No, but what state of... Was she in a meditative state? Oh, no, she was uh, sleeping. Uh, sleeping, so it was But her we ad made her to remember, so we woke her up in a, in a proper time, so she will remember that that happened. Good. So she won't forget. Good. What about the meditation and vision of the golden hands. Why were they shown to her? Because these are her hands. Her hands are the golden hands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because she works with what she does, the phantom, yeah. the phantom yeah. surgery? Yeah. Okay. What is she going to be doing with these golden hands eventually? Oh, she's doing all the time. Whatever she touches. Mm -hmm. Whatever she touches turns yeah. to gold? Yeah. Mm hmm Good. Now, one of the things that disturbed her the most was during a meditation where her eye was blocked for about a year. Why was that done to her? They were bad people. They wanted to, to lock her because she was shining too much and they want to just lock her up. Mm. Who did this? Uh, the dark forces. They didn't like her. Mm. How does her th eye look today? It's blue. Mm -hmm. It's opened. Mm -hmm. How open can we get that eye today? We can open it. Very good. Would you begin doing that today? Yes. Thank you. She wants to know what are her developed gifts from other lives. She was psychic. She was psychic? Yeah. In what lives? Almost everyone. Mm -hmm. Including the dull ones that we saw? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How can she reconnect to these gifts? We're going to connect her. Good. Very good. Is there anything special about the street that she lives on? Does she have a connection with this place? Yeah. What's there that's so I, magical for her? She was an Indian girl over there. She lived there. She lived there as an Indian girl? Yeah. Mm, very good. Was it a happy time for her? 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. How long ago was this? So it was uh, it, like 200 years ago. Okay. And also because she has a part of crystal in her. Mm -hmm. She's bringing the stones because the energy she projects of herself is feeling those stones and makes that place like a very strong light place. Mm -hmm. Is she picking these stones with with uh, crystals in it? Yeah, mm -hmm. most of them. And it gives her also grounding, mm -hmm. but also the stones are projecting a light to the whole area. Mm. Very good. Would you tell her a little bit about relationships? Why has she picked the same type of men over and over again? Because well, she has to learn to speak up for herself. Mm, she's not speaking up? No. So what is she doing with these men? Is she just ignoring them? or She was acting like she had no power. Ah. Mm -hmm. But it's over. She knows how to speak for herself. Good, good. So you're giving her those words? Yeah. Who's speaking for her when she when she needs to really assert herself? Well, I'm sorry? When she... Who, who speaks for her? Who helps her speak? Do you? Oh, yeah. Okay. We all we all help her Good. be strong. Good. Are we going to be able to help uh, the issues with her partner? Yeah. Mm hmm. Good. Good. Let's get let's get through some of these things though before we go into that. Would you tell me a little bit about? what's going on with her body. If you could do a scan on her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And tell me what you find. There is something in her throat, mm -hmm. which, which is... Um, what is that in her throat? It's like a black snake. Black snake? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long has it been there? It's a long time. Would you allow me to speak with it today? Yeah. All right. Let me bring my energy up here and allow all of that energy to express itself. Good evening. Hi. How long have you been there with Eva? A long time. Are you male or female energy? Male. Male. What name may I call you? Snake. Snake. Snake, what is the reason you're in her throat? I like to block her. You like to block her? Why is that? So she cannot speak for herself. I see. Did she call you? No. How did you find her? I just came across and I thought that would be a good place to hide. Mm, what are you hiding from Snake? I'm just hiding not to be seen. Who would hurt you that you need to hide? Someone sent me. Mm -hmm, that's what I figured. Let's find out who sent you. Because it seems to me that you're not doing things out of your own. Yeah, there was her mother-in-law. Her mother-in-law? She didn't like her. Mm-hmm. Do you need to work for her mother-in-law anymore? They're not no, even connected. No, no, she's gone. She's gone. Where is her mother-in-law? She went up. Mm-hmm. Now, can you leave on your own accord, or does the mother-in-law have to tell you to leave? I can go if I want it. Very good. Would you like to find your own way home, Snake? Actually, yes, because it's boring. Mm -hmm. So, Snake, I want you to look inside of yourself. We are all created from the same place, the same source, which is the light. 
Look inside of yourself and see if when you can find that light. Yeah, I see the spark. Mm -hmm. Make that spark very big to encompass your entire body and tell me how it feels. Warm. Mm, feels good? Yeah. Would you like more of that? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to call my angels of the white light and surround you, Snake, and have them wrap themselves around you so you can feel their love and their warmth. And I'd like for you to detach yourself from her throat okay. and find her your way up through the crown of your head right up here where Archangel Michael is waiting and we'll direct you right up to the light we'll take you there go ahead and uncoil yourself go right up to the light and tell me when you're there how does that feel snake? there mm-hmm How does that feel? It's good. Very good. Snake I'm is glad. Mm hmm May the light of the universe accompany you, Snake. Thank, Thank you. you. Mm hmm So I'd like the archangels to go ahead and help with this and fill her throat with that light to heal her. And I'd like to speak with the higher self again. Thank you very much for finding that. Thank you. What else can we find in her body today that needs healing? Her heart. What's happening with her heart? It's just weak. Mm, why is that? Because she suffers a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I've heard that suffering is a choice. I know. Mm -hmm. Why does she choose to suffer? Yeah. She just wanted to experience that. Mm -hmm. Does she need to experience suffering anymore? No. Mm -hmm. Has she had enough of suffering in her yeah, life? Yeah, that's it. All right. So how can we help her heart today? We're going to project a frequency to her heart to make it work better. Mm -hmm. To restore everything. Go ahead and do that now. Let me yes. know when you're done. We work. And while it's you're done. very good, thank you. What else did you find? There is a metal sticking out of her sight. Mm -hmm. What does this metal look like? It's kind of like a tool. And it's really sticking out through her body to the front, from the back to the front. What is this metal? It's a tool for working like farmers are working mm -hmm. how did she get this can you show her a picture I of that i think please? she had a fight she was a guy mm -hmm. they were fighting about some part of the land and he hit her so much and she fell through and she fell through she fell through this and it's spearing her yeah and and it's it's just hurting her now all right so i'd like for her to go back to that life yeah. and we need to get her feeling whole again yeah i want her to see herself pulling that body out of there pulling it out okay. and restoring that body restoring that soul so it's no longer feeling pierced. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now that we have that body restored, I'd like for you to tell me how it reflects into this body now. It's healed. Beautiful. It's healing now. Beautiful. 
go ahead and put that light so that she no longer has this memory of that lifetime affecting her. She said she's sorry because she hit that guy first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's uh, sorry to this guy. Mm -hmm. And he said sorry. Very good. So we have made amends. Yeah. Uh -huh. Forgive me. Shake hands. Very good. Very good. So now, how does it affect her life now? She'll be okay. Mm -hmm. This man that she hit, is it anybody in this lifetime that she knew? Richard. Mm -hmm. How does that affect the relationship with Richard now? Stay okay. Very good. What else have you found in her body that needs tending? The knee. The knee. What's happening with her knee? The knee was like in a, in a, was crushed. Mm -hmm. Was crushed a long time ago. Mm -hmm. In one life when she was, someone did something to her and crushed it. Let's show her that lifetime so she can experience it again very briefly. Show it to her. It was a big thing which went through the knee and crushed it. Mm -hmm. They cut her leg. They cut, they cut her leg? In the knee. Mm -hmm. At the knee. All right. So we need to get those two pieces together. Okay. I want her to go back to that same lifetime and join that body together so we can okay. heal it there okay it's, yeah mm -hmm. and let's find out we're connecting it connecting good. everything together good and clearing mm -hmm. is there anything that she needs to clear with the the one that sent it to her no to clear up he that said, car. I'm sorry. She says, okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Clear up that karma from that lifetime. Yeah. Very good. How does that knee look now? It's and golden. It's golden. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. What else did you find? Her spine. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her spine? Spine. Oh, someone killed her. Mm -hmm. And that came through the, sp through the spine. How did she get killed in that lifetime? I think it might be a war. A war. Go they ahead. had blue, blue clothes. Blue uniforms? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where was this war? In America. Mm -hmm. Was it a civil war? Yeah, that was a civil civil war and he had a gun with a, like a sharp thing. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So what happened with the spine? Yeah, it was just crushed. How did the spine get crushed? Because that, 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 um, bullet mm -hmm. came through and crushed it. All right. So let's go back to that lifetime and let's remove that bullet. Okay. And I'd like for you to repair the spine there. There are so many pieces we have to stick mm -hmm. together. All right. You can do that. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm So let's see how that soul feels now. Yeah, it's good. Complete? Very good. Is there anything that needs to be completed and forgiveness with the one who shot this man? Yeah. Mm hmm Let's yeah. find out if she recognizes the one that shot him. 
Dat was haar vader. Mm. Hij deed dat. Haar vader shot her. Ja. Dat ze were in enemies in that war. It doesn't seem like enemies, it's just that happens because there was a war and they had to shoot each other. Okay. It wasn't a hate or something, just just someone made them doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they had to do it, even they didn't, they didn't like it, they just had to do it. Can she forgive this man? Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and let's clean up this karma. Okay. How does the spine look now? It's good. Good. What else have you found? I found an energy in her right, right um, hip. Her right hip. Okay. Would you allow uh, me to speak with it and see what it is? Yeah. All right. Let's bring. Let's bring that energy up. Up, 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 up. Good evening, May. May I please speak with you today? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female energy? Female. What are you doing there and in her hip? I just like to hang out there. Hmm. What is your name? Jolie. Jolie? Yeah. How long have you been there, Jolie? A while. How old was she when you got there? She was like 20. Mm-hmm. Did she ask for you? something? No. No? How did, what was going on in her life that allowed you to connect? I think she was crying. Mm-hmm. Crying about what? Uh, she had some problems and mm-hmm. I just had problems still, so I figured out that we can stick together. Mm, so you could both. Misery likes company? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jolie, what's your story? How old are you? 24. What happened to your body? I got hit by a car. Mm-hmm. Where did you get hit? I got hit in the, in the hip. In the hip. Mm-hmm. So were you trying to find a hip that wasn't hurt? Yeah, to help me. Mm-hmm. But Jolie, yeah. this is not your hip, is it? This no. is Eva's hip. No. So we need to have you go to the light. Okay. Are you willing to do that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of it. Jolie, can you forgive yourself for spending all of this time in her hip instead of going to the light? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and pull all of your energy out of her hip, please. Okay. And I'd like to call the angels to surround you, Jolie, and tell me when you feel their love. Yeah. How does it feel? Good. Good. So, Jolie, I'd like for you to make your way up to the top of her head. Okay. And Archangel Michael will be there waiting for you. Okay, I am not. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and have him escort you to the light and tell me okay. who's there. My mom, my brother, my father. Mm-hmm. What do they say to you? Are well, they happy to see me? Mm. They've been waiting a long time. Wonderful. What would you like to say to Eva? I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Please forgive me for that pain. Eva, do you forgive her? Yeah. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Jolie. Thank you very much. And I'd like the higher self to go ahead and put that beautiful light into her hip to heal her, seal her from that energy that's been there so long. Tell me what you're putting in there. What color? Gold and light. Gold and light. Beautiful. And just tell me what else. And pink. And pink. Mm. What else do you find? In her stomach. What's going on there? 
It's darkness. Mm -hmm. How dark is it? It's black. Mm -hmm. What do you get from this dark one? She's not digesting mm -hmm. properly, has allergies. Mm -hmm. Is this sensitivities the... for food. Mm -hmm. Is this darkness something that she created? No. Hmm. Is it something that's attached to her? Yeah. Okay, would you allow me to speak with it today? Yes. Thank you. Let me bring it up. Bring that energy up, 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 up. Good evening. Hi. How long have you been there with her? A long time. Mm hmm Why are you so dark? Because I'm dark. Mm, you are. How long has it been since you had a body? Oh, it was like a long time. I lost my body in 1920s. In 1920s? How old were you? I was young. Mm -hmm. They shot me in the stomach. Mm -hmm. What did they call you in those days? George. George. Who shot you, George? Oh, we were involved in alcohol selling. I see. I was a mafia. You were in the mafia? Yeah. Mm. So what happened, George, after they shot you? Uh, I just wandered around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was afraid to go to the light. Why is that? Because I, I, I was a bad man. Well, you may have been a bad man, but you're not a bad soul. I know what I shoot people. Hmm. Well, I'll I don't want to go to hell. Well, let's find out if you're going to go. They, 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 they were saying there is a hell. Mm hmm. That's a belief system, George. Uh, Do you think there's a hell? I don't know. I, I just was afraid to, to check mm -hmm. and I stayed here because it was safe here and I knew I wasn't a good one to. Mm -hmm. I so, was scared. So George, what have you been doing to Eva with your darkness and fear? Because I was there so everything was trying to get darker. Mm -hmm. Did it affect her digestion? Yeah, what finally. But I liked her. I liked being with her. She's nice. Mm -hmm. But you're not doing very good things to her stomach, are you? Uh, yeah, it looks like. Mm -hmm. George, I want you to feel something for me. Yeah. Look inside of you. And you okay. will find a little spark of light. Yeah. This is the spark of light that created you. Okay. I want you to expand that spark of light bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay. And tell me how that feels. Good. Keep expanding it until you become all light. Yeah, I turned I'm not black anymore. How does that feel? Wonderful. Mm -hmm. it's so light. Mm-hmm. Oh God, I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive yourself, George, for all of those things that you did? Yeah, all right. I'm sorry I did. I'm sorry I killed those people. I'm sorry I was in the mafia. Mm -hmm. I was just greedy, money greedy. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to I'm go sorry. to the light now? Yeah. All right. Can you forgive yourself? For all of that. Yeah. All right. So let me ask the angels of the light to surround you so that you don't go by yourself. Okay. And now that you've turned into light, I want you to pull from her all of your influence. Leave nothing behind. Tell me when you have all of it with you. Do you have it, George? Pull it all out. Don't leave anything of yours okay. behind. 
Very good. So go ahead and go up to the top of her head. And Archangel Michael is there to receive you and take you straight up to the light. How does it feel? I feel free. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell Eva? I'm so sorry for everything I've done. Please forgive me. Can you forgive George? <sighs> yes, I am. Very good. George, may the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you. Who's there to greet you? Oh, my family and people I shot too. They mm. are there waiting for me, saying, Don't worry, man. It was just a play. Mm. We were just in a play. Just don't worry about it. We will fix it. Very we'll good. Fix it. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. Let me speak with the higher self. Yeah. Oh, he was so dark. Well, how does it look now? It's different. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and shine your light on that area. Oh, yeah, she needs it. Oh, my goodness. It was mm -hmm. a big spot. Mm -hmm. Fill her with that light of yours. Tell me when you're yeah. done. Did that darkness have anything to do with any inflammation or things that she's experienced? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there was that. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was everywhere, actually. It was everywhere. Her whole body had that influence? Yeah. It, it wasn't was, just the stomach? Yeah, it was just, just feeding and feeding and feeding. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. How is she going to feel now without George influencing it? Lighter. Mm -hmm. Lighter, brighter, shinier. Mm. He was influencing her shyness. He was like, he didn't mean it. It was just happening. Mm -hmm. What's going on with her finger? Why is it looking so inflamed? It was the George. That was George too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was he influencing her thyroid or her eyes or everything? everything. Oh my gosh, he was everywhere. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and flood that body with that golden light everywhere he was. What about her hair? What's going on with her hair? Tired. Tired? Yeah. Why is her hair so tired? Tired. Tired. Oh, the thyroid. Mm -hmm. What's going on with the thyroid? I think something's wrong. Mm hmm. Can you fix it? Yeah, we're going to work on it. Mm hmm. And we're gonna work on her follicles. We're gonna shoot our frequencies, laser frequencies. They're gonna wake up. Good. Can you shoot some of that slim. online too? Yeah, <laughs> you can shoot on yours too. <laughs> Good. So tell her what you're doing with the hair follicles. We're shooting. We're shooting lasers. Mm -hmm. We're waking them up. We're waking them up. Helping them because they were like, like, like. They were, they had difficulty to get through. Mm -hmm. They were blocked. What's blocking them? There is something in her head blocking it. Mm -hmm. There is a blackness. What's there? Blackness in the head. Is it an energy? Or is no. it? What is it? That's something, someone. Someone sent something to her? Someone is sitting there. Mm -hmm. in oh gosh, yeah. Who is That's it? the thing which. Uh, it's blocking her. Mm -hmm. Third eye, blocking her. The, the pineal gland, holding it mm -hmm. so it won't. It won't develop, it won't shy, it breaks the connection. Mm -hmm. Who sent that to her? Guy. The guy. The guy from the meditation? The guy from the meditation. Uh, he, he had the order to block mm. all the shiny people. Mm. 
Did she make a contract with this man? No. Then she has no reason to have this no. energy. No, he was just sent by his forces just to block all the shiny people. Mm -hmm. So he, he was finding them on the internet. Mm -hmm. They were coming for meditation and they were just blocking every one of them. So instead of being opening up, they, they were, were closing, open. they were shutting and blocking and keeping it close and tight. So what can we do today to remove that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can remove that. Mm -hmm. We can send it to that guy. Well, we don't want to hurt him. No. Why don't we transform that darkness into light? Okay, we can do that. Because we want to work always with love. Yeah. We yeah. don't want to be sending... He didn't know what he's doing. He no. was just... He was just... He was probably lost. influenced too. He was just lost by himself. Mm -hmm. and so let's transform okay. that energy that's being... That's blocking okay, her. Okay, we're going to shoot a light. Shoot the light. You know, and transform the rainbow. Mm -hmm. The rainbow, it's going to be there. Mm-hmm. The rainbow will come back. There was a rainbow in the head. Mm -hmm. That part of head from that planet was there and they didn't like it. Mm. There were rainbow people in this place. In and which place? In the that, meditation place? Yeah, yeah, they came over and they came there. And they just blocked them all. Oh. So these rainbow people were kind of baited to go to this place for meditation and then they were yeah, shut down? they were like just, 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 they were just... Mm -hmm. They feel like they want to go there. They mm -hmm. made them feeling wanting, they made them wanting to go there. Mm -hmm. So they were able to get to all of them and just block it. Mm -hmm. They hate that rainbow, beautiful rainbow. So let's get this rainbow back in there. Yeah. Tell me when it's yeah. been transformed. Yeah, we do, we, we are, it, it's just, just, just coming out from just darkness. It's just coming out, transforming. Beautiful. We always want to use the light. Love. Always want to use the love. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's done. She's rainbow. Beautiful. She has, and they, 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 they just broke the connection, the rainbow connection between her and her planet. Wonderful. So now we we're know. Gonna, we're gonna fix that. Wonderful. Connect that. Good. Connect. We we are we are just doing to all those people. Wonderful. At the same time, all these people are giving back the rainbow. Wonderful. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. So now, can you work on our hair? Yeah, that's why the hair was just couldn't go because of this darkness. Mm. It couldn't grow. Yeah, everything is perfect now. Was that affecting her memory too? Yeah, everything in her head. Okay, good. Everything. So we checked all of that off. Yeah, and the eyes. Mm -hmm. Her eyes. She had a question about karma and the purposes of this karma and the influences how how it affects free will how these influences affect everything how can she be responsible for actions if she has influences what's going on here you know, the personality is always stronger mm -hmm. than influence. Mm -hmm. So it's also a lesson for her, in spite of having someone like telling her, do this, do this, do bad. Mm -hmm. And if she listened to it, it's just she failed herself. Mm. But in spite of everything, she is like, no, no, I'm different from my heart. I won't do that. Okay. So that's a lesson she passed. Okay. So even though 
all of people like that. All of people. Everybody who has influence, mm -hmm. the influence is there for some reason because influence is l learning too through her and him. Mm -hmm. And even it's not nice to have it, but that's a lesson for both of them. Okay. And they can fail, they can grow. And this is a part of the contract too. Mm. That's why we are just open for influences we can catch them. It's okay. It's it's really okay. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people who watch my videos get a little concerned because there are so many influences that are affecting people. Yeah, you know why? Because, because p people are... they were brought up <laughs> in that theory mm -hmm. that there is a hell mm -hmm. and you're gonna just burn in hell and whoever did something wrong and we all are doing good and bad those people are so scared of going there so they don't want to see light even they see a light they don't they ignoring because they're not sure if this is a trap or mm -hmm. this is a real or and they don't want to go to the darkness too, so they hanging around and there is so many of them because we were just brainwashed. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the whole thing, it had such a beautiful idea. Mm. Jesus, Jesus came here to show love and to change the world. He was sent. Mm -hmm. He was a master. He was a teacher. Mm -hmm. And he came here and he was teaching love and 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 they just screw everything up. They changed everything and it was based on so much lie and goes for the somehow they do some good things. They do they cannot tell that they do a bad things mm -hmm. but but they doing a they just they just messed up. It's not like that. It, it wasn't supposed to be like that. No. How was it supposed to be? It was supposed to be love, love, spreading love. Mm -hmm. And and it just went the wrong direction. That's why those rainbow people are working so hard, mm -hmm. spreading the light, spreading the love, because the rainbow has all colors. Mm -hmm. And they projecting into every each of one, every person. And sometimes that person just waking up and most of them, one sooner, one later, but finally we all will wake up. And people are recently, at that time there is so many awakings, so many that people are really waking. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it will take time, but the rainbow people are working. Are the rainbow people are the ones working from inside to get the dark cloud moved from the earth? The rainbow people they surrounding the earth. Uh -huh. Part of them went down the earth. Yes. And for and that goes for generation. It didn't help happen right now that the rainbow people came here just now it goes for 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 like generation and generation mm -hmm. um like uh atlantis people and much earlier mm -hmm. and and part of us the, the huge part of us it's like it's weird because the, 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 the majority of part of us is on our planet part of that is surrounding the earth mm -hmm. and little tiny part goes on the earth into the people to breathe into the people and spreading light spreading mm -hmm. light generation by generations and somehow it's like when you touch it, the person is not the same anymore. Mm -hmm. They're changing, and everybody is changing their own timeline. Mm. 
you can't just wake up one day just like like that it's yeah. just it's a process because for so many generations it was wrong and when Jesus came part of the people were following him mm -hmm. and then everything just went wrong mm -hmm. and there is so many good people too they following still even they, they, they know by heart they on the right path mm -hmm. Even even the majority is who is is like governing them. Those those are bad. Mm -hmm. What's going on with all of this stuff that's with the children, people kidnapping children and using them? This all this stuff that's going on with the radical religions. They all come from the dark part of mm -hmm. those. Dark, there is dark forces. Mm -hmm. The dark forces who want to just have earth for themselves. Mm -hmm. So, what's going on right now that's being. Uh, it's a battle. Right now, it's a battle between a good and bad. Mm -hmm. And they are losing. And they are losing horribly. And they are just like, like you catch an animal. And you put in a cage, this animal is doing like this, it's like, like getting crazy. And they know this is like the end of it. Mm -hmm. And, and they just acting like crazy, pushing, like pushing people to, to, they, they go into their mind and, and they looking for those people on a, on a just a lower energy development. They, they, they are not developed nicely. And they just just taking over and, and 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 just putting the thoughts in them, and they think they good. They doing good thing though. Mm -hmm. They 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 just they just they don't think for themselves. This is a lesson for them too, because because they're gonna die one day too, mm -hmm. and and they will feel bad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But those forces are losing. They are losing all over the the the, the earth. Okay. So those people who are coming and, and they, they came from different places because they came from different planets, different, different galaxies. Mm -hmm. And everybody is working on a different level. Everybody it depends from what galaxy they came from. Yes. They just, they just working and, and everything is, 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 the earth need them on all all different levels mm, good so so things are going to turn out okay yeah okay yeah, yeah but right now it's it's that's what they producing you yeah. know this so like we are like cleaning and clearing and making golden spots mm -hmm. and then something like a smoke is going from down the earth up uh -huh. this is what they producing when they torture the the, the, the little children mm -hmm. and but on the other hand these children choose that they do. they do they choose this as an experience as a most horrible experience you can imagine to choose mm -hmm. but then they will grow like instead of like growing like progressively from step by step they grow, they're gonna grow like a million of steps at one time. So they choose this. They choose this. Mm -hmm. So that's what it is. Good. It's Good. horrible for, for, it's horrible to know about it. It's horrible to watch that. Mm -hmm. But eventually. Should we be focusing on it? Or is that creating dark, dark, uh, you should send light. Okay, so we... you can take you can take those children. You can take those people also. Mm -hmm. You can put in a sphere of light and just project light on them. Everybody can do that. Everyone, everyone on Earth, can just imagine taking part of these people, some of these people, and those children and all those bad. Once project in a sphere, golden sphere, and, and just, just put light on it and, and spread it light. 
Wonderful. It will help from the earth. Everybody can do this. Everybody who feels I can do it, can do it, everyone. Wonderful. So those prayers should actually be an action item. Yes. To put. Yes. Instead yes. of praying. Intention. Right. Intention, prayer, ascending love, mm -hmm. forgiveness, love, forgiveness, and light. Those three things. Okay. Put them into the sphere and just say and spread. Don't say it. Feel it. Mm -hmm. You have to feel it. You have to feel it like you're projecting and it comes from inside of you. Mm -hmm. Your real love, not the word love. Mm -hmm. It has to come the real deep love from you, from God, from within your real essence. And you project that love and the light which you are and forgiveness because they need so much forgiveness they do they did they were doing they were doing they doing it and they still they gonna do it mm -hmm. so you have to project forgiveness to them and one day they will get infected by that light one day they get infected wonderful it'll be a beautiful day yeah very good. Thank you so much for that. Is there anything else that we could have asked today that we didn't, that you would like to tell Eva today? Tell her, don't worry about anything. She's on a good path. She's a light. She's a rainbow. Mm -hmm. And she has to go to people because she's spreading all the time spreading wherever she is in the subway in a bus mm -hmm. outside in a mall she's spreading that wonderful wonderful it's like a virus but a good virus a good like a like a like a happy happy virus a happy bug <laughs> yeah like a happy one yeah. good good are we complete today, or do yeah. you have any messages for anybody else? I'll buy you are wonderful, and you have to do what you do, and you have a rainbow too. You are a rainbow ca kid. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. You're welcome. Wide awake, feeling wonderful. <laughs> How do you feel? Oh my god, my eyes are like glued. Uh -huh, sorry. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Oh my body is vibrating. Your body is vibrating? Okay. Yeah, vibration everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's that vibration. It's 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 so strong. Mm -hmm. It's like, 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 like uh, spirals. Mm -hmm. It's vibrating so strong everywhere. My hands, my my body, my torso. Feel my yourself. Legs. Mm -hmm. Everything's vibrating. Good. Feel yourself coming back more and more. Oh. Very it's good. Like coming back from somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your experience was like. Oh gosh, the rainbow place sounds so familiar. Mm -hmm. I was so happy there. You were. <laughs> you were trying to flop over. Yeah. How long yeah. do you feel you were on this journey? I would say an hour. Two. Oh gosh. <laughs> Did it feel like two? No, mm -hmm. I just lost in time. What do you remember? I remember, I think I remember everything. Mm -hmm. And that planet, <laughs> it was so funny and we were joking and we were doing like, we were joking with each other, we just prank each other. It was so so <laughs> funny because we were somehow limited with our movements, but we were able to move and and just just Amazing, just yeah. roll and 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 I tried I re <laughs> I tried to jump. 
It's so <laughs> hard to get up. No, you are you are crystal. Yeah. I I I really I saw it, this black stuff coming from the earth mm -hmm. and it was much higher than than the earth. It went like like high into universe mm -hmm. and it's like it's it, I, that was horrible but also it was like a good feeling because that that spot that when first there were like the spot of light yeah and then it makes like a bigger surface and mm -hmm. bigger and bigger and bigger like like an iceberg is 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 um melting yes and first it's just the iceberg and then it's whole water mm -hmm. and it was like spreading and spreading and somewhere where the light was the the the, the darkness came back because they were working so hard they were working so hard to produce it do you think that your answers you got you got the answers to your question yeah i think so i i felt in bottom of my heart that must be something like that mm -hmm. but i just couldn't trust in words and and feel it i felt that yeah it it was just that I, I, I thought about it. Mm -hmm. the, that's the difference. I thought about it. Mm -hmm. I felt that. You felt it. Yeah. Totally it's different. Di it's different because I just felt it like from the bottom of myself that, yeah. that, 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 which is, which is horrible. I, as a person, as a human being, I yeah. still think that doing anything bad to anybody, mm -hmm. but especially ch children, mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable. It, you just can't put in. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just. Mm -hmm. Well, you got all your answers as to why. Yeah, but but on the other hand, knowing that those kids agreed, mm -hmm. just for the growth of their soul, mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if I would be brave enough to mm -hmm. decide to go through the experience mm -hmm. even for the price of growing like million of steps yeah oh. I don't think I would be like let I would have you, a carriage let me ask you something else we did a lot of healing in past lives for mm -hmm. for your hip and for your knee how did that feel I felt that uh, that that uh, when you put that thing together mm -hmm. That what I felt like uh, the little pieces are like, like there is a like camera rolling back, mm -hmm. and that pieces which were like spread it, mm -hmm. they were like going backwards, 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 like a movie, yeah. backwards to the place, and suddenly they were just whole and everything. It's the same thing with happens with the hip, mm -hmm. I, I and and my spine. Mm -hmm. which was crushed through the bullet and also the whole pieces were spread it and energy that the whole energy of that place and pieces and mm -hmm. also there was another like going back back backwards 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 to the place to the place to the place and and boom how do you there. feel now physically i feel I feel good. I feel light. I feel <laughs> good. <laughs> that, that, that sensation is slowly like I still have them. Still, still vibrating. Still vibrating. Good. I'm still vibrating. Well, let's enjoy that vibration. Okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Um, what a what a incredible session. The rainbow. Oh. The crystals. Um, it's like. I still feel that it's it's hard to get on the earth, mm -hmm. so I think it takes a while to go back to the place where you are. Yeah. yeah. So, <clears throat> tell everybody how it felt to be in hypnosis. It it it's it's really uh, difficult because in the beginning I was afraid if I'm able to do that, <laughs> I think everybody has that feeling. Yes. So. But then slowly, slowly you get deeper and deeper and your your mind, which is controlling, chattery, it's like going to sleep and then suddenly you just, just speak. But you're not sleeping. 
No, no. <laughs> I was I was completely aware, and I have a feeling if I wouldn't like to get up and just go away, I would do it because of, I didn't want it. <laughs> now, did you hear any noises? Mm, they were in the back, uh, but like it. it it didn't disturb me because mm -hmm. yeah. there was a lot of people running up and down. Yeah, the halls. I've, I've noticed just maybe some of them which were like louder than, yeah. than others, but no, no. Because you was, were talking, you were still I was talking. just deep inside of me, so you are not paying attention much to this that world here. <laughs> yeah, that was. You were just trying to flip over as a crystal. Yeah, that was interesting, but the, those lives were kind of like. Like boring, boring, like <laughs> pale, like mm -hmm. nothing really. I can't even remember seeing myself like laughing. It was mm -hmm. like like a life. I I was born. I had to leave yeah. and yeah. do stuff because I was told so, mm -hmm. and be there for the reason I didn't know. It was mm -hmm. just 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 boring life. But the the, the most funny thing was there <laughs> and beautiful and the feeling of being um, part of surrounding the earth and being part of this rainbow and shooting light and shooting the energy because that energy wasn't just the one color they were all the rainbow colors right. now one of the things that that we did here is we talked about this meditation that she had gone to and she was invited to go to a meditation to open up oh, her yeah. third eye. Oh, yeah. And what she found out is that actually when she left the meditation, the eye was closed. It was even gone. It was gone. Yeah. The third eye was gone. Nobody could yeah. even see it. Mm -hmm. So what we did today was mm -hmm. we reversed that. Yeah. And we found out. The man what, left a part of him. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what what was blocking my my mm -hmm. uh, development. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, do you think that you could have done something to protect yourself in that meditation? I didn't even thought about it because mm -hmm. I was so trustful mm -hmm. that if I'm, and they had such a beautiful um, uh, site in the in the, in the internet, in a computer, beautiful, the graphic and stuff, and mm -hmm. the words were there. And I just and I just felt like wow that's beautiful. I want to just take part of it. And mm -hmm. they were just promising the opening. And the the weirdest thing was that I had in that meditation such a position, uncomfortable. You wouldn't sit like that. It, I was like mm -hmm. burnt on the complete other side. But I didn't react if I had an idea that something wrong is going on, mm -hmm. I would just break and I would just go. But I was just 100% trustful. So what would you like to tell people about oh my that? God, just be careful. Just be careful of where you're going. Oh, the, 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 how beautiful it is, it doesn't mean it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just just be wise and wise. Wise, wise and, 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 and follow your intuition. If it doesn't feel yeah, right. intuition because when I came to the place, I was the first one arrived in that building, and I didn't like the place. I didn't like the the, the entrance, the going in, and the, the, mm -hmm. the when I got there, I was the first, and I just didn't feel right. But I didn't listen myself. I was like, gosh, I paid money. <laughs> I I wanted to have my eye open. Mm -hmm. And they're gonna open my eye. I, I just so want to do it. I just oh, and the yeah. thoughts. I just just get out of here. Mm -hmm. So you have to follow your gut. Yeah, just Good. listen to your inside because if you feel just just you think that you made in making up mm -hmm. that feeling, mm -hmm. uh, it's not. It's no. it's just listen to it. I it it cost me like a year to get back to the place, but it. It's been, oh gosh, it, it happened, it happened at least 10 years ago. It was 10 years ago, maybe nine. Mm -hmm. So for those years, my eye came back, but I couldn't develop. Mm -hmm. It was like before, it was just part of it was open, but whatever I was doing, it wasn't, it wasn't helping. 
to develop. It was all the time at the same stage, mm -hmm. and and I know I had that part of that that thing in my head, which so, was completely blocking me through, and my eyes were going progressively bad mm -hmm. and everything. So you used your intuition to come here. Yeah, that was session. like a, that. You know what was it? <laughs> it was like. Um, what do you call it? Like a rubber gun? <laughs> it was like a rubber like band. A, it, it rubber band, it. and it was like pulling you. Go, 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 go. Because you contacted me many, many months yeah, ago. It was, it's like six months. Six least. months ago to, yeah, to come to New Jersey. Yeah. And she's the reason I'm here in New Jersey because she wanted me to come and mm -hmm. and do this. And we are in Elizabeth, New Jersey, right now. Yeah. So how long did you have to travel to come here? Oh, not long. Forty-five minutes. Forty-five car. minutes. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And it's worth it. Yeah. So uh, what would you like to tell a, everybody? It's such a it's such an experience, and everybody has a different experience. And mm -hmm. I didn't have any expectation, nothing. I was even afraid if I would be able to say so. So I was just open, okay, whatever. And you did great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You still vibrating? Oh, uh, <laughs> kind of a little bit, but it's, it's yeah. slowly going away. Wonderful. So if you want, <clears throat> excuse me, if you want to have a session with me, uh, just go to my website, albawyman.com. I do travel like I am right now, just go to my out-of-town page. You'll see my mailing list uh, sign up on the bottom. Sign up so that you can see where I'm going to next. And if you see your city, sign up really fast because the slots are very limited. Yeah. Oh, until the next time, thank you very much. <laughs> see Bye. ya. <laughs> Bye. Ah! <laughs> thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you.